Just picked up three bags of watches at the thrift store and there's some cool ones in here. Right here, there's a Swiss watch with dials on it. These were half off today, so it'd be about four bucks a bag. I can't wait to see this Luzerne and see if it works or not. Without further ado, let's get these out and look at them. First things first, let's check out this dial watch. I wind it up and it immediately starts to tick. Without setting the time, it reads about five o'clock right now. To set the time, you can see how the dials just spin in there. The back is made of plastic. Pull the bezel off of this thing. Remove the plastic cover. Here we can see the dials move. When I lift up on the movement, it doesn't come out. Everything works, so I'm not gonna risk it. Some of these go for like 75, 100 bucks, even more. Very cool, let's see what else there is. Here's a junk no name, a junky quartz, Coldwater Creek, probably about 15, 20 bucks. An Armatron from Kmart, not worth anything. Here's a carriage, they're made by Timex, it'd be a quartz. Pretty decent condition. If cleaned up, like 15 or 20 bucks. Here's a junk no name, Timex Indiglo. Now this one would be like a $40 watch. Here's a Magna. Looks like a cheap watch, but it's a pretty decent brand. This one would probably be 15 or 20 bucks. At the bottom, we have some Spridell bands, which look in decent shape. We'll go for the next one. We've got a Citizens and an Iron Man Timex right on top. We'll dump these out and take a look. This one's a junky one. Here's a Timex Indiglo. Probably like 15 bucks. Here's a Citizen, not in terrific condition, but a good name. If we get the scratches out, probably about 20 bucks. Very practical sports watch, probably about 10 bucks. Here's a $10 Activa. Here's an Aqua by Timex, 10, 15 bucks. Here's the last bag. This is the one with that Luzerne in it. We also have the Bulova in this one. First, I want to look at this Luzerne. We'll pull the snap off, wind this one up, and it starts right up. It starts, and then it stops. We'll add a little Mobius 8000 oil. With the oil on there, it's running a lot better. Now, the oil's only on half of it. We'll be able to clean this and get it going again. This is a decent brand, but it's in pretty rough shape. Maybe like 15, 20 bucks. Now, sometimes a watch like this can be surprising on the value. Looks like a total junk watch, and it would have been at the time. This one's from the 80s. Something like this could sell for 50 bucks or more. Hulkamania. Here's a decent little watch. Needs a new band. Wind it up and it starts right up. You can see that second hand float across. When you pull the back off, it looks like an old Timex. With a new band, this one's in good shape, like 30 bucks. Here's a fashion watch, Wincy. Probably like 10 bucks. This one's pretty cool. Wind it up, an old Timex, and it just starts ticking. Nice good size. Pull the back off, and that thing's just going like gangbusters. With a band, this one's really cool. Nice and big, good shape. 25 or 30 bucks. Here's a Britannia Quartz, like 10 bucks. Now, this is a good shape bullet. Now, this one's not made out of gold, but it'd be like a 50 or $60 watch. Some of these are really pieces of artwork. So much fun. You never know what you're going to find in these old bags of watches.